400K FTMO max funded. In this video, I'm gonna go over why I chose FTMO, why I ultimately elected to get max allocation and the benefits of their current scaling plan. Now their scaling plan is something that they recently uh, kind of revealed and they also had a Black Friday promo, which ultimately made sense to go ahead and get funded. I'm gonna talk exactly about the scaling program and the benefits and things that I personally like about it, as well as the exact strategy that I used, as well when it comes to getting funded that I use for FTMO and again use for other firms as well. I also did a, get another 200K from a different firm, but again, I'll talk about that one in a separate video. Let me know what you guys think and let's go ahead, let's get straight into it. First show you guys the client area for FTMO. So again, these were the two challenges that I bought essentially for the Black Friday offer. Again, and my thing is this, always make sure like if you're buying a evaluation challenge, to make sure to always you know use promo codes like for us i know at sft we have promo codes running all the time make sure to join the discord we have the promo codes inside the discord inside our social media i'm going to put all the links in the description but again make sure to always use these promos especially when you can get 15 20 percent off ftmo doesn't really do a lot of promos so like when they had one for black friday jumped on it passed the evaluations um and yeah currently right now the account just over one percent Again, for like the fund that I'm going to take it easy and scale it up because now I have multiple 200k accounts with them and then with other companies as well. We'll make a separate video on that and how I'm going to manage it and my goals for 2024. We'll have that video ready for you guys by the end of December. Nonetheless, here it is. Max allocated right now. Profit split day in pretty much about by next week, right before Christmas. So yeah, uh, still probably going to trade the account if I'm being honest, but nonetheless, this here it is. Now let's go ahead and let's talk about the FTMO benefits in terms of their scaling plan. And this was honestly one of the biggest reasons why I personally wanted to go and get funded with them. Obviously FTMO is the standard, we understand that, but we do like the prime status. So prime status, so the, uh, let's talk about the eligibility, right? So obviously FTMO, they have, you can get it any size. How, however, the aggressive accounts are not eligible. So you have to get the standard option with them. Now, the thing is, this is actually pretty interesting. And let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section, whether that's something you guys would like if, for us to incorporate at SFT as well. You should have no failed FTMO account within the last four months from the date you apply to become a Pride Trader. So they actually are, it looks like they're kind of gauging towards where they don't want traders who are kind of just going in, YOLOing on challenges and then playing it as a numbers game. They want traders who are kind of in this consistent approach of, hey, I'm gonna apply proper risk. I'm not gonna to risk too much. I'm not gonna to be too risk heavy. Um, that for me is what this kind of tells me. Now, profitability. Achieve four payouts on a single order. So if you have like a 100K account, they essentially have to get four payouts, minimum profitability of 4%. Um, and it's not, the 4% is total from what it looks like to be here. These payouts don't have to be consecutive. So yeah per payout before the split. So again, so if you do a 100K account and you do essentially up to 4,000 um, and you achieve four payouts, you could look like you get set to the scaling plan. Um, and now here are the benefits. And this is again, why I personally, I mean, again, FTMO is the standard. So when they kind of introduced this, this kind of got me pretty excited. One free FTMO challenge is the same size as the qualified FTMO account. So if you have a 200K account, you're then eligible for a free challenge, which is pretty cool. You're, so obviously I'm max allocated. This part was also very key. Maximum capital allocation increased to 600K. So think about it from that lens. If you, know, if you meet the requirements, you get four payouts, you do the 4%, you don't blow any challenges in the meantime, you get a free, I'll, I would essentially get a free 200K challenge and my max allocation will be up to 600K. So I'd be able to, you know, kind of get that max allocation without having to pay for the new account. Also 90% payout, which pretty, pretty cool. No time limits on this condition, as long as your prime status is active. So this is also a nice little feature. I like this too, exclusive discounts, 10% off all new purchases and 15% off FTMO eShop. Dedicated customer support, support agent, which is good because again, then you kind of kind of put up in the queue in terms of requests. <clears throat> Special certificate, access to the unique 400k FTMO challenge product, which again, like it does, like if you're if you're already max funded, I don't think this necessarily matters. 
um, 5% bonus on the rollover amount added to the subsequent FTMO account. So if you have a 100K account and let's just say you have $5,000 in profit, if you roll over that 5K into the next um, trading session, like let's just say on the payout split, you elect not to take out any payouts and you want to roll over 5,000, right? Or maybe you want to roll over half of that and you want to roll over 2,500. You get a 5% bonus added onto the FTMO account, which honestly I think is a pretty cool thing because some people like to leave a cushion. If you're someone who likes that, this may actually be an added benefit as well. So yeah, they also have level two, which is the Supreme status. So this one, the eligibility is a little bit higher, obviously. You must have an active 400K FTMO account, so you have to have merged from two, which is interesting, right? Because it doesn't look like you, if you have two separate ones, like the way I have it, it you won't be essentially eligible for that. And for the profitability, you have to be active participation with the prime status for three months. So you have to be in this category for three months. So it, it'll probably take you a little while because again, in order to achieve four payouts bi-weekly, this would take at least two months. And then it's essentially a five month plan because you would need three months with at least three payouts and 4% profitability per payout. This one's a little bit interesting because you also need to get 4% per payout. So in the three month span, you have to have at least three payouts, which again, during this three months, because it's bi-weekly, it's gonna be roughly about six pay periods and you have to have 4% profitability per payout versus having 4% profitability overall. So out of, let's just say, let's just say you do every two weeks and you have 4%, you need to have that at least out of the six times that you withdraw. So all prime benefits, you get also 1 million max capital allocation, which is really good. Physical badge of achievement, you get exclusive merch, immediate payout. And again, this for me, immediate payout, like even if I get to that opportunity to scale the account all the way up until then, I would be kind of happy as well, like with immediate payouts. And you would also have the 90% which would be pretty dope. Again, this is going to be a, a longer term approach if you really want to reach those milestones because just based off the requirements, but it's well worth it. You have no maximum daily loss, which is very, very interesting. So you essentially have that opportunity to have no daily loss. In my opinion, I kind of like the daily loss because it kind of sets a specific limit, but that is no longer there. And then you have the opportunity to move to quantum lane. It's a quant firm that they essentially acquired recently, but that's going to be something separate. But nonetheless, this is why I kind of like it. Let me know guys, should we implement some certain things like this with SFT? I'm very, very interested to hear your guys thoughts. Let us know. We're always looking to improve. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little risk management trick that you can use for your funded program and how I use it on FTMO with other challenges as well. Now, I'm not going to get into an examples. I'm going to put more examples in my public telegram. So make sure to join. It's in the link in the description. I'm going to use, I'm going to put my examples of this, but I don't want the video to be too long. So I'm just going to go over it very briefly. Essentially, the way I view the evaluations, we obviously understand it's based off of hitting a specific profit target. Now, the thing is teen risk reward. Now, this is kind of, this is just a calculation based off the OTE retracement. So if we have, let's just say a specific impulse from swing low to swing high, we have some sort of market structure break, liquidity sweep, and this impulse has a fair value gap. Typically, I like to look for an OTE retracement. Now, if I get the 62 or if I, my system tells me to get in at the 70, these are essentially going to be the RR multiples if we target this extension. Now I already know people are going to ask for the settings. So here are the settings for you guys to look at. And again, very, very simple. Here are the extension targets. There's two of them. Nonetheless, if you always, especially if this is kind of like at a, another reference point or some sort of equal high, this is an objective that you could typically look for as well. Now, if you have that systematic approach of like the entry criteria, right? And you understand, hey, if I stick to the 62 and I need, uh, I have a pretty much just over 2R, and if I stick to 70, I have about just over 3R, you can use this and understand in terms of mathematics and say, hey, as long as you have four net winning trades on this, right, it's really about like three and a half winning trades, you're essentially going to pass the evaluation for an 8% profit target. Now, obviously, SFT, we have 6%. So if you try, if you get like pretty much just three or just less than three, like about like, 
maybe two and a half net winning trades, you'd pass the skill challenge at SFT. And similarly over here, you would really just need two net winning trades using this model in order to pass our 6% profit target at SFT. And if you would like to choose, like let's just say our standard model, which is the 8%, you would essentially have to have about, you know, about three, less than three uh, net winning trades if you look to get into 70 and the extension target. Now, again, this isn't like financial advice and I'm gonna have the disclaimers in the comment section, in the description as well. But it's just to give you guys an understanding and gauge of like how I personally approach the evaluation companies. And again, it's just basic math. Now, in order for me to have an impulse leg, again, it would have to be some sort of sweep and then price breaks some sort of market structure and we have a clear objective. As long as these are met, I'm looking for that OTE retracement into a key level. Let's just say there's an imbalance here or so. Now, again, I don't want to keep the video too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure to post a bunch of examples inside my public telegram. So make sure it's free, 100% free. It's going to be in the link in the description. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, very simple in nature. And, you know, let us know what you guys think in terms of the scaling plan. If you want us to incorporate something similar as FTMO with SFT, let me know your guys' thoughts overall. And make sure to join the Discord. Give us your suggestions as well. We're trying to grow as a company. We're trying to give back to the traders by hearing everyone's thoughts and then bringing it out in terms of our products releases. So definitely join the Discord. Join the public telegram if you want the PDFs that I was referring to and to see a little bit more examples of this as well as maybe I might even make a full video show, detailing all the explanations. So you don't want to miss out on that. Make sure to check all the links in the description and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.